slide five, battery maintenance, proper electrolyte level. Electrolyte level, if it is a traditional battery, you can check. I, either it'd be these vent holes that you can take off, often they come out off in series of three. Um, so three of the term or three of the um, holes are done. You look in there and you make sure that the electrolyte solution is a quarter inch to a half inch above the um, bad battery plates. If it's not, then you can add distilled water, not just tap water, not bottled water. It needs to be distilled water so there are no impurities. Otherwise, that can cause a battery to fail at a much quicker, quicker pace. Can't do this if it's a maintenance-free battery, then you're just um, um, at the luck of the draw of how much is in there. When you're adding distilled water, be super careful about splashing. Of course, we don't want that electrolyte acid solution splashing on you. The other interesting one as far as electrolyte level is some batteries, especially lawn and garden batteries, ATV batteries, come without the electrolyte in them. And you have to initially put that fluid into the battery. Of course, be super careful where your PPEs when you're doing that. Slide six, measuring electrolytes strength. We'll be doing this test when we get out there. Um, two ways of doing it, and I have a hydrometer, I have a refractometer from school, and we're gonna check the specific gravity of each of the cells on a battery that I have on a little um, walk behind tractor. Uh, um, remember that a fully charged battery has a specific gravity of 1.265 to 1.280, corrected for 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So on the, a, on the hydrometer on the left there, you will have um, a little bulb that we'll see whether it says it's good or bad as we look at it at eye level, and then sort of cutting it off with this camera, but the hydrometer, excuse me, the refractometer will, um, will put a drop of the electrolyte on the lens of the, of the refractometer, and it's gonna tell us what specific gravity it is. Remember, specific gravity is just the amount that an item is heavier or lighter than water. So it, with that, we can tell what the percentage of electrolyte and water is based on, based on knowledge of how each of those weigh. The next test that we're gonna do is open circuit voltage. Open circuit voltage um, measures the voltage without a load on the battery. So you're going just directly across the terminals with a multimeter. A fully charged battery has a voltage of 12.6 volts, as has been mentioned a lot of times in lecture and lab for this course. And that's because there are six cells. Each cell produces 2.1 volts. Six times 2.1 is 12.6 volts. On there, you see what um, voltage happens with different percentages of charge there. This is a helpful test, but it can trick you too. It says nothing about the amperage available. You can have a fully charged battery that's 12.6 volts that does not provide you with enough amperage to start it. So remember that. So we have another test to do that. The last test we're going to do um, sort of compensates for the open circuit voltage test, not telling you what amperage is available, is a battery load test. There are many ways of doing a battery load test. I can think of at least three or four. One uses a device that sort of looks like a um, chrome box, stainless steel box with a big resistor in it that puts a load on the battery. We're gonna use a Snap-on Microvat tomorrow and then there are more advanced carbon pile resistors that you can put a very specific load. That's sort of what's depicted in the picture or drawing here. What, the, what we do with this is it puts a load on the battery and determines what voltage is available while that much amperage is being used, i.e. it puts 400 amps load on the battery. And when you look and see how much the voltage drop is under that heavy load, if you know that you can compare it to a chart like you could see here in which um, it shows you what percentage of the voltage is going to be available if the battery is still in good shape. And then after you take the load test, it should go back to almost as good of a voltage for the open circuit voltage. Okay, next there's gonna be a video where we go out to a battery in my shop and we do these tests. So stay tuned and thanks for listening.